Alright, so poking at the white wire in here seems to be uh, enough to create the issue. Also, the black uh, grounding slash shielding strands poking at that is, also does it, but that it's hard to say for certain if it's just because it's affecting the white cable because it's right next to it or... I don't know, it seems like poking at it independently creates this issue. Definitely the wire. It's not the aux import. Fiddle with the aux import, no, no effect. Fiddle with the wire. You know, I have want to say it looks like a cold solder joint. Um, at least on this front one, on the top, on the left. I'll try to send some photos later, or take some photos to send later. Uh, the solder should be flowed cleanly to the lead, to that tip, that wire. It should all be one amorphous. Um, I don't know what the word is for it. Let you be flowed is one word for it. Cleanly together it shouldn't look like it's two different blobs, two separate blobs. So, a person assembling and soldering these might not be heating right there enough after they've inserted the wire and the blob of solder that they have here that they're inserting the wire into is heated enough that it's fluid, that it's liquid, um, but after they insert that wire, uh, they need to hold the soldering iron for maybe another three to five seconds to make sure that that heat gets transferred onto the already tinned tip of the wire and not just transferred but completely melts um, the solder that's on that tinned tip so that it all flows together cleanly. And if I had to guess when I reflow that, it's going to work fine. We're not going to have these uh, cutting out issues anymore. That's all for today.